Hello, my name is Arun Gupta and I work for Sun Microsystems. In this screencast, I will show you how to create a simple web application, deploy it on Glassfish v3 Prelude and debug all using NetBeans IDE. Let's get started. This is NetBeans IDE 6.5. It comes with Glassfish v3 Prelude bundled and pre-configured for you. Let's create our simple web application. Right click, new project, Java web, web application, click on next, choose a project name, hello web, click on next, realize the server being chosen is Glassfish v3 Prelude and then we click on finish. NetBeans IDE generate template web project and opens up the project for us. Let's right click on the project and run the project. Glassfish v3 server is starting up as you can see in the console. Once the server is up, the application is deployed and let's see the output in the browser window. Switching to browser and this is our output, hello world. Let's go back to NetBeans IDE. This is the default index.jsp page and you can see the output that is being displayed in the browser. Now let's add a simple servlet to this web project right click and choose servlet give it a name hello servlet specify a package name and click on next you can specify servlet name and URL pattern let's take the default click on finish the servlet code is generated for us and is automatically deployed as well Let's see what the output looks in the browser. In the browser, we type hello servlet. Of course, the browser shows empty page. If we go back to the NetBeans IDE and uncomment the previously generated code and let me clean the output window for Glassfish v3 console. Let's hit save here and you see the magic automatically happen. As you save the file, NetBeans and Glassfish v3 automatically recognized the change and they happily deployed the servlet again. What that gives you is a edit, save and going to browser, refresh the page. That is your typical cycle. There is no longer need for explicitly deploying your application. Let's go to the browser window and see what that gives us. Refresh the page here and you happily see the output from the generated code. Let's see another cool feature of Glassfish v3 Prelude that is the ability to retain session data across multiple HTTP redeploys. For that let's switch to NetBeans IDE. In NetBeans we're going to add some code. This new code basically maintains some session state. In this case, it maintains the number of times the servlet has been accessed. And we go down and display the number of times the servlet has actually been accessed. Once again, let's clean the Glassfish v3 Prelude output console. And then we save the servlet. And the magic happened again and the application is deployed by itself. Let's go back to our browser, refresh the page and now we can see it's accessed one time. Let's see access two time. Another refresh and it shows access three times. It shows that the session data is maintained and the counter is incremented every time. Now let's redeploy the servlet and see how the session data is maintained across HTTP redeploys. Go back to NetBeans IDE and change some text here. Clear the console. Go back here and save the servlet again. Deploy on save kicked in. It automatically deployed the servlet. And let's go back to browser to refresh. Now you're seeing new accessed. And notice the count is 4, is not 1. This is actually incremented from the previous session data. This is hugely beneficial feature for development times. 
not only you're getting deploy on save that gives you rapid deployment, but you're able to maintain your session data across multiple HTTP redeploys. Finally, let's see what kind of debugging capabilities are available using NetBeans and GlassFish together. Let's switch to NetBeans IDE. Let's say we set up a breakpoint here. Click here and the breakpoint is ready. Right click on the project and say debug. We indeed want to debug the server side code. Click on debug. It automatically shuts down the server and starts it all over again and this time in the debug mode. Let's switch to the browser. It shows our default JSP page, but that's not where we set our breakpoint. So let's invoke our servlet. See how the context automatically switched back to the NetBeans IDE and this row now turned green. You also see the debug toolbar being enabled and there are some more output tabs. Let's look at local variables. You can look at hello servlet, which is this. And you can see all the variables that are in there shown in a very nicely nested manner. You can look at the request object or response or output. You can look at the breakpoint that are being currently configured. And of course, you can look at the output console. In the debug toolbar, you can step over. So if we click on this, within the same method, it goes to the next line. You can say step over expression, where it evaluates a particular expression and then steps over it. Or you can say step into, where it gets into the method and executes it. Or you can say step out. Or you can put your cursor over here and say, run to the cursor. So it automatically runs to the cursor. Or finally, you can say continue execution, in which case the output is shown back in the browser. So let's switch to the browser and we see our output being successfully displayed over here. Notice the number is now five, which is incremented by one from the last time. Let's conclude with a summary and finally some references. Switching back to the presentation, what we saw, how NetBeans IDE provides a comprehensive environment for creating JSP servlets and other web application artifacts that can be easily deployed on GlassFish v3 Prelude. Rapid deployment gives you edit, save, and refresh development cycle, thereby letting you focus on your business logic than on explicit deployment phase. The ability to retain session data across multiple HTTP redeploys is very useful for development phase. And finally, you can easily debug your web application using NetBeans IDE on GlassFish v3. You can download GlassFish v3 Prelude from www.sun.com slash GlassFish v3. NetBeans IDE 6.5 can be downloaded from netbeans.org. It comes with GlassFish v3 Prelude bundle. As we like to say, GlassFish swims in the aquarium you can go to blogs.sun.com slash the aquarium for all the latest and the greatest news on GlassFish. Stories is another blog that talks about all the production deployments of GlassFish. GlassFish for Business talks about why you should buy a subscription for GlassFish. And finally, you will see this screencast hosted on my blog. Thank you.